C'est le réalisateur Kiss Collet qui est venu me voir pour me proposer euh, cette histoire-là. Lui, euh, britannique, euh, mais ayant grandi au Kenya, ayant fait toute une série télé pour la BBC sur ces félins-là, connaissait par cœur et la région et puis euh, leur comportement. Euh, mais aussi, et ça, ça paraît toujours un petit peu particulier, euh, les personnages du film quasiment intimement. Euh, avant, sur les autres documentaires animaliers, on est vraiment sur du documentaire animalier, mais là, on était vraiment sur du cinéma. Je trouvais ça top. This adventure started a long time ago. That um, we've been filming um, for television these African cats in uh, the Maasai Mara for many, many years. And uh, I guess there was there was a moment when we saw the Lion King and thought, "Wow, wouldn't it be great to be able to make the true story with real animals?" Because we we knew that we could do that. But then it took uh, a long wait for Disney Nature to be created and then to be given this opportunity, the resources then to be able to put our dreams, make our dreams come, come true and um, have the resources to make a, a proper movie. We had a very good idea of the story we wanted to tell, and in fact, Keith and I wrote a traditional movie script, you know, because we'd worked with cats for such a long time, we knew the sort of things that would happen. The hardest thing was choosing the characters. You know, we knew we, 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 knew we wanted a cheetah mother, we knew we wanted a lion mother, because their lives are so different. The solitary life of the cheetah compared with the social life um, of the lion. But, of course, you cannot direct these actors, and lots of things happen that we didn't expect to happen. We knew that Layla, we chose Layla because she was injured and that was going to be a dramatic story. We hoped she got better. Of course she died, which proved to be one of the most emotional moments in the movie. But the skill was to choose good characters, then let the story run out and constantly sort of move the script around so that it ended up as a very powerful narrative in the cinema. But to be honest, the script that we wrote was pretty exciting. The actual true story that happened was far better than the one that we had imagined. <laughs> The, the most difficult thing about shooting like this is that you never know what's going to happen. So um, you've got to find your, your star. So every morning we'd have to get up before you know the light and go and find her. So first find your star and then you don't know what's going to happen. They're rubbish at reading scripts. They're no good at following scripts. So you, you have to know the animal and you, you have to know their behavior and anticipate what they're going to do. J'étais bluffé, donc je, quand euh, chez Disney Nature, ils m'ont demandé de, de, de devenir un peu l'ambassadeur du, du projet. Bah, J'ai sauté à pied, je me suis dit, ça, en plus c'est un exercice de narration que je n'avais jamais fait. Et euh, j'ai trouvé ça euh, très intéressant d'avoir à faire. Et puis surtout, je, je, voulais, je voulais accompagner ce, ce film. J'étais euh, très impressionné par le travail qui a été fait, mais surtout par, les, par nos camarades euh, félins. Oh. Oh, my God.